and do this. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Icon Moments Emilio Buchagueno card to review. Uh, just going to go ahead and give him... I don't know why I keep skipping. It was the first one and then it was the second one, but I still skipped it because I'm stupid. I guess the reason why I do that is because it's not like always consistent to the chemistry style that I want to give, but I'm still dumb for that. Uh, guys, Emilio, he is five foot six, medium low work rates, right footed, three star skills, five star weak foot. Guys, listen, I tell you guys this all the time, man. Medium low work rates for the most part usually works out really well in this game. Like I love the medium low. You know what's really funny, right? Is that the George Best card. I remember reviewing a certain version of this card. I'm gonna show you guys. So I think it might've been the prime or something where he was a medium medium. And then they gave the moments version of the card. No, it wasn't these versions. It was the second one. I think it was this one or the 88, one over the other, right? See how he has the medium low? They changed him to a medium medium, didn't like it, right? Buchagueno is a card that a few people this year when they packed him, they actually enjoyed using him for what it was because that medium low work rate apparently is good. So we're gonna see that. Uh, the card has no skill moves, but he does have a five star weak foot, which is obviously very important because I think his center of gravity is gonna be low. So maybe the shooting's gonna pop off really nicely because if we take a look at this card's in-game player traits, he has the finesse shot trait, which is a huge plus. Technical dribbler as well. Lean body type while being five foot six. So he should be still pretty decent to use in regards to responsiveness for this game. Uh, In-game attributes, we are going to be working with perfect pace. Shooting is going to be essentially perfect as well with the Hawk chemistry style. Uh, 88 for volleys. Passing is not going to be the craziest for the long passing department, but short passing is still in a very good area for a striker. Dribbling is going to be a main thing that we're going to be testing out. It should be responsive because of how small he is because um, it's in the mid-90s area for pretty much every single stat, so definitely some good stuff there. Uh, and he can win the ball in the air, but he's going to be working with his height a certain way, right? So even though his jumping and heading accuracy is good, you kind of have to get into like very obvious situations for him to probably score those opportunities. But 88 stamina as well, so nothing too bad there. So I think for us, we will be using him mostly in the 3-5-2 tactic, as well as the... 3412. Uh, where he'll be over here. Gonna switch a few things here and there. Insigne bang, and we're good to go. So yeah, we'll try him out with both formations and see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, he's tiny in game. Wow. <laughs> he's really small. Butcher Guango versus Moments Patrick Vieira. What will happen? Find out next episode on Dragon Ball Z. I mean, hey, I took the strike because I'm testing it out. But that run, by default, amazing. Oh, I tried it. I will say, guys, his left stick is really nice. Like, it's actually noticeably nice. And I like his medium low. It's it's uh, two things that are very obvious so far on the card. Ooh, very direct. Super fast. Does this well enough under pressure. You know what? He actually did a really good job there, to be honest. Considering how small he is, it was really nice to be able to get that quick left stick off against the defender. That was solid. Oh my goodness, and I think it's a goal if I time it correctly. That animation is so dumb. They really should just keep the ball in like a regular touch, but they that's like a new thing that they, you know, the new things they add. And...
Yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Small little dribbles make him think I'm going to go in a different angle. Hit him with the finesse shot. Uh, I could see why people didn't mind packing this card. I can see why so far. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to touch that there. I was like, okay, okay. Yeah, he's got a he's a gameplay commentator. His dribbling stats, like because of how small he is, like he's got great left stick. Against pressure, he's got fantastic left stick. Oh, he got blocks. No, my ring. He's got really nice finesses. His animation choices are very consistent. Yeah, it's funny because I'm dribbling into the player to see how responsive he is like under pressure when they're putting like a little bit of pressure on him and he still does really well, man. Just like the it's it's being able to like accelerate and just move quickly. That's like really nice. See, oh, free kick. Let's take that. Does he have free kick stats? He doesn't, but I could probably get a good finish out of him here. Oh, five star weak foot. Let's do this. No, nothing. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're gonna do this. This is the because of the weak foot. I could probably get a fake shot on the inside. I didn't expect that. <laughs> but it was still a pretty good shot. Why is he on the near post? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but the fact that he just did a bounce dribble was kind of crazy. Nice, I like that. Oh, we hit the crossbar unlucky. The pass off, the movement after, that was all great. Go in! Yeah! <laughs> that was so random, but I'll take it. No green there. Get on his weak foot for the near post strike. He did hit it to the middle, but maybe a green would have been more consistent, obviously, to the side. <laughs> we'll do that just for the sake of the review. To be fair, in that situation, his dribbling, like, he did really well. Ooh, we'll take that. We'll take that. Great goal. Everyone's just leaving, just wasting my loans, because they know that I'm using the loans. Oh. That's not too bad, since he's coming off of, like, an emphasis touch. Emphasis touches are going to be less consistent for the uh, types of strikes you take. Almost got him there. Ilini is a beast, though, so we do have to always watch out for that bad boy. Oh, I hit the crossbar again. What a strike, though. It's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so th those are usually low percentage guys. Like, I try them, but there's nothing going to be too crazy special out of those. Oh my goodness, what is... Courtois is such a nuisance to play against. Yeah, I knew I had to put the right amount of power into that.
Yeah, that touch is going to do a little bit of emphasis on the ball, so it's not going to be as direct. Oh, no. Offside, though, unlucky. Oh, I actually got the ball there with him. I didn't even notice. I was, like, looking in the middle. Yeah, considering I did a lot of stuff there. I do this. Yeah, that's uh <laughs> that's nuts. That is actually nuts. Oh my goodness, beautiful finish. This is one of those cards where, like, if I had this, like, four or five months ago, like, kind of nasty. Like, he's still, if you were to use this card in this game right now, like, he's still good. I, li I love his movement. I love, I love how I can play authentic football with him. He's one of those guys because his medium low is sick. His shooting is nuts. He's got the five-star weak foot. Nest shots are coming off really well, like, consistently with the animation choices. Oh, I almost had that there too. Uh, offside, yeah. Look at how he stops that run there. I'm telling you guys, medium low is just, it's so, so nice, man. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he positioned that defender well there. As long as he does not give me that spot, he's good to go. Oh! Oh, no way. I still have it, how? Oh, his left stick, man. Yeah, that's not it. Ah. Under normal circumstances, you gotta do the pass, but it wasn't it, wasn't it? Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. This card, like, he's... See, this is the thing, right? Not a lot of people will use a card like this in their team. Like, in the game nowadays, I 100% would, though. Every person has left for this uh, loan review. But hey, definitely collected enough footage, so we're good. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Buchigueno SBC. Honestly, guys, let's see the SBC price. I'm kind of curious. Let's take a look. Okay, so the new Buchigueno is 459k as an SBC. So the reason why people have dislikes on the SBC is because some, car some people will just not use cards like this uh, in the game anymore. I'm going to be honest with you, if... I was, if the game was formatted differently and I can collect fodder differently and I can just put in through grinding the actual game, I would definitely get this card. I'm being serious. Like for me personally, um, again, people won't use them because of the lack of skill moves uh, and that kind of stuff. But for me, I always look at authentic football experience and this card allows me personally to play the way that I want to play. Good attacking AI, good at shooting the ball with both feet, right? Finesse shots are crazy just in case people, you know, park the bus like crazy. Uh, his dribbling, you know, the way that he dribbles on the ball because of him being five foot six at a lean body type with these dribbling stats is fantastic. Obviously, the two main things that you notice the most when it comes to this card is going to be in height when it comes to physical presence against defenders. Obviously, the taller players, the more meta players will be able to get the ball easily off him. Even players that are not as meta because they have a little bit more of a physical presence, you just have to be a little bit more careful about that, right? And then obviously, the lack of skill moves kind of sucks too because it would be really nice to just be able to do like a croquetta or something you know a croquetta is definitely uh, a skill move that's super helpful to work with but if you don't care about those two things 
this card is actually very, very solid. Like he is very good. Honestly, if I got this card like four or five months ago, that would have been super, super dope. Like I actually think he's fantastic in game. He allows me to play the way that I preach about all the time in FIFA. He's one of those cards, like, you know, Isco in the cam position, which are going up top in the striker position. So yeah, I could see why people were not disappointed about getting this guy in some of their player picks and stuff, because honestly, if you actually like to use different teams that are meta enough in the meta of the gameplay, this card is definitely very solid. Like, so listen, if you guys want to do the SBC, the SBC is more expensive than the actual player on the market, which, you know, but I think the SBC is out for like a month. So if you want to slowly grind towards a card that is great in the middle of the game, that is just lacking in those two things, he's worth getting, you know, he's worth getting in my opinion. But uh, the SBC and the ways that they do it is a little bit strange sometimes, but. Yeah, the card's really good. I like him, guys, personally. I, I think he plays great in the meta of the game. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.